hi so i don't think i have uploaded anything new or recent since october i believe um i did i just last week upload two more of our october vacation videos which are really cute and fun and i miss california and i miss our vacation especially right now where we've been locked up inside um but yeah i haven't uploaded anything since october because life kind of took a bit of a crazy turn shortly after we got back from our vacation um, as you can probably tell from the title, uh, we found ourselves pregnant. So, yeah, I am actually six months pregnant currently. I am 26 weeks and three days along already. And we've been keeping it, shh, we've been keeping it on the down low. Uh, mainly just because we found out we were pregnant super, um, it wasn't planned and it was a lot earlier than we would have liked to find ourselves pregnant again actually we weren't even sure if we wanted to get pregnant again so it was very much a surprise um we found out we were pregnant in november so at the time asher was only nine or ten months old so it was a bit of a shock <laughs> and actually the reason we found out was because I really, 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 really wanted Burger King for some reason. Burger King French toast sticks. And I just kind of jokingly was like, well, what if it's because I'm pregnant? Like, what if I'm pregnant? Because actually, I'd only had one cycle before that. I had a cycle at the very end of September, and we went on vacation in October. And then Halloween came, and then Riley's birthday on November 3rd came. And then I kind of realized that second week in November, I was like, Hmm. I haven't gotten a cycle back again um, since my last cycle in September, but I, was, I wasn't I was too, I wasn't like, um, I'm pregnant because my cycles have always been kind of off and then especially after just having a baby and then your first couple cycles back are normally super irregular anyway. So I didn't really think anything of it until I really wanted Burger King, which was very strange for me. I normally eat a pretty healthy diet. Uh, so I jokingly took a test and... I actually recorded it is the funny part. I set up a camera because I thought it was, I, I don't know, I just thought it'd be funny. And uh, then it was positive. I don't think I'm ever gonna share that footage though because it wasn't like, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like a happy reaction. I mean, it wasn't an angry reaction either, but it was, I mean, I won't lie. I was kind of, I was upset. Um, we obviously weren't planning on that <laughs> happening, so. I just I don't think I'll share that <laughs> but uh, I did record it so I have it if I ever did want to share it at some point uh, but <laughs> yeah so we found out we were pregnant and Asher like I said Asher was only nine months or so at the time so we didn't tell anybody right away um, we planned on waiting until after Asher was a year old he turned a year on January 14th we decided we were gonna wait until then to start telling people um, but then like the longer it got, you know, like the worse it seemed because then people were going to be like, wait, you're al you're already X amount, you're X amount of far, far along. Like, why haven't you said anything? You know what I mean? So <laughs> kind of like you ever get like a text message and you don't reply to it right away. And then like the longer you wait to reply to it, like the worse it gets <laughs> because then you've got to come up with a reason as to why you haven't replied to them for so long maybe that's just me i don't know i get anxiety about that sort of thing uh so yeah we we, did, we wanted to wait till after till that um i think we told my mom i think she found out in like february i want to say maybe late january february i'm not really sure i don't remember uh she got told earlier than we planned on even telling because Riley has a loud mouth and she knew that we were pregnant so I think she was on FaceTime with her and she said something about a new baby and my mom was like wait wait what <laughs> and so we had to tell her uh, but my dad didn't find out until about a month and a half ago now at this point um, and then we just told like my Nana and a couple of my uncles uh, this last Sunday on Easter so We've kept it a secret for quite some time. <laughs> we are due in July, and at the time, Asher will be uh, just about 18 months. I think our due date is, our official due date is July 18th, I believe, is the official due date. I don't really go too far off of those because 
with Riley, I was induced at exactly 40 weeks. And then with Asher, I had to be induced at 41 weeks and five or six days, something like that. So he just wanted to stay in there, I guess. Uh, so I don't, like I said, I don't really, exact due dates don't really mean much to me. So as far as anyone's concerned, I just say I'm due in July of 2020. Um, so hopefully that's about, it's in about three months from now. So I'm hoping that this whole COVID thing has died down by then. Being pregnant right now is a very scary and strange time to be pregnant. Um, everything's just very much off. I know the hospital that I deliver at right now, uh, people who are delivering their right now, their current rule is that you can only have one other person with you and that person can't leave the hospital. So if you have your husband come with you, you have to have someone watch your kids because he can't like go home at night and watch your kids and then whatever, like he's just gotta stay with you. So <sighs> horrible. Um, yeah, my, my mom plans on coming out in July. So hopefully if that's still the rule, then uh, hopefully we'll have backup so that Jake can be there for the late for the delivery and everything I'm not really sure I'm trying to just keep my fingers crossed and just hope that everything is kind of cleared up by then and it's we're not in the same situation and they're kind of people are getting back to normalcy and like rules are kind of dying down we're hoping that that's the case come mid-july um, but we don't really know appointments have been very strange I missed my, actually, my last appointment was still normal because it hadn't like taken over yet. And then I skipped my, that was two appointments ago. I skipped my last, last appointment just because I was like, there, I don't feel the need to. It was one of those where you go in and they take your blood pressure and your weight and they're like, do you have any questions? And you say no and they let you go. So I was like, I'm just not going to deal with that. Um, but this next one is my glucose. So it is important, at least to me, it's important. So I am doing that one. They have a strange policy where you stay in your car, you call to let them know that you're checking in and then they will call you up and I believe they take your temperature before you're allowed in and then you go straight to a back room and there's like nobody else there. Like no other patients there, like it's just you. They're doing just like one at a time. So we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be very strange. Um, but I'm glad they're taking precautions, obviously. Um, what else? My mind's a big jumbled mess. Um, but yeah, so that's where I've been. I've been hiding, uh, dealing with pregnancy and new living situations and such. Uh, like I said, I do plan on doing a video about our new living situation um it was mainly because we found out we were pregnant that we had to move because our old apartment has a maximum occupancy of two people per bedroom and it was a two-bedroom apartment so we were at the, at the maximum occupancy sitting there at four people and then our lease was up in july so we were like well that's not gonna work because i'm not gonna move at 40 weeks pregnant and um, if we don't move before then, then we're going to be breaking our lease by having too many people in our apartment. So we were just kind of, we were very much stuck. But like I said, I'll talk about all of that in another video. Um, but yeah, so I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy and good. Um, I'm out of breath <laughs> just from talking. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh. I look forward to coming back to YouTube and putting out videos and documenting this whole crazy thing. I know there's a lot of other people pregnant right now. And like I said, I just, um, just know you're not alone. And I feel really bad for people, um, for all of us pregnant women. Um, and especially, like I said, first time moms and especially people who are like due right now. Um, but yeah, anyway. I think that's it. I never know how to end these videos, so I'm just going to say bye. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Alright, see you later. Bye.